Hey everyone, it's Grayson. So today I am one month away from my top surgery. So I thought I'd make like an update video for you guys and just to say like, hey, this is where I'm at. Also, it's snowing outside and that's gross because it's actually April 11th and it should not be snowing anymore. So like, I'm gonna tell you like what I've bought and my fears about top surgery and like my excitements and stuff. So, so here we go. So, um, let me just get these things over here that I've actually bought and moved the cat. That was his bell. So I bought this neck pillow that has something on it. It's gross. Um, yeah, so you, like you need like a neck pillow to like sleep on and stuff like that. So that's nice. Nice Walmart find. I bought some button-up shirts from TJ Maxx. They're pretty spiffy. They got birds on them. Because, you know, that's how I do. Uh, they also got tigers on them. I also have more at home, so... Those are the ones that I can wear, like, you know, because I have to wear them for, like, a month. So, uh, the ones at home are, like, the ones that I can bleed all over, and they're all gross because I got them at, like, Goodwill and stuff like that. So, I also got a loofah for, for my first shower because I won't be able to reach, and it'll be really hard because I'll be like, help. So, I got a loofah. I also got, um, slip-on shoes, like, because, like, like slides, because I won't be able to, uh, you know, tie shoes or bend over or anything because I'll be wearing a vest. I also have, you know, you, you won't be able to shower for eight days after, so you need a lot of underwear and socks because you'll feel nasty. Um, I've been just now taking vitamin C tablets because I don't want to get sick before surgery. So, that's what I've been doing. Um, I have bought Arnica, which is, like, for swelling and, uh, like, post-op swelling and bruising and everything like that because that will help with my surgery. I've also bought, uh, Scar Away. It's like a silicone scar gel that I'll put on my incisions. And it's like you roll it on and you just put it on the incisions and it helps them fade. I also bought Bio Oil. It's like for scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone. You can literally just use it on your stretch marks, but I'm going to use it on my incisions. Um, I bought Petroleum Jelly for my nips, my nip nops, because those cannot dry out or they will die. Uh, Dramamine for the car ride home because it's, I have two, a two hour drive home and I don't want to throw up all over myself because you know who would like that. I brought I bought a sickness patch because also for the car ride home. Also because like my mom has issues with anesthesia and I've never been under anesthesia but like she gets like really sick. So like if I put that sickness patch behind me hopefully I won't be you know really sick. I bought some Miralax because, um, yeah, you you can't poop because cause the the pain medication. So I need to poop. I bought some baby wipes, which they sent like eight of eight packages, and I only ordered like four. I guess I'll be super clean. Um, I bought a ten feet long. Um, phone charger because I won't be able to reach for it because I won't be able to move like I don't think you understand my movement I will be able to like move like this and that's it for like ever I won't be able to, to, to do this or this or any of this I'll just be able to like do this and that so like before surgery I'm just gonna you know a five second dance party I'm just gonna do that because I won't be able to do that for like five months. I also bought ice packs to like, you know, stuff inside my vest and be like, uh. I bought a pillow, like a pillow with arms, you know, like those TV pillows that you put behind you're like, ooh, that's nice. And it's got like little arms that come out the sides. So I can put like a pillow behind that and then like 
sleep like that so I can like sit upright. Mm -hmm. I also bought skillet, skillet, I bought a skillet, silicone tape for my incisions. Um, those are, silicone tape is what the, my surgeon recommends because it's better for healing or something. Okay, let's move on to my fears. Everything. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid where my doctor's gonna put my incisions. I'm afraid of how the incisions are gonna look or how they're gonna be angled or if they're gonna be like all the way over here or like, I don't know. Usually, Dr. Wolf's incisions are just like this, but I'm afraid they're gonna be like this. I don't want them to be like that. Also afraid for my nips, because they literally just take the nipples off, like, off your body, and then place them to the side and then re-sew them on after. That's gross. But, I'm afraid that they're gonna be too close or too far away. I just want them to look normal. Because I'm paying for this by myself, so I want it to look good. Um... I'm afraid for anesthesia because I've never been underneath it, so, like, I'm afraid I'm gonna, like, die. <laughs> because I've never been under anesthesia, so I'm just afraid for going under and not waking up. Um, the pain after, like, I know it's gonna be, like, brutal, but I'm just, like, afraid for the pain. I'm also afraid to throw up right after surgery. Because I am always nauseous, so I'm just afraid that, that I'm going to throw up and it's going to hurt my chest even more. And that's going to cause a complication because, like, a lot of trans guys get complications after top surgery. Like, a hematoma, which is, like, excess fluid and they that the top surgeon needs to drain that. But I don't want that. Because they either need to, like, numb the area or if it's, like, so severe they need to put you back out. Ugh. Um... I'm afraid to be so dependent on others, like, even with, like, going to the bathroom. I don't want to be that dependent on my mom where she needs to help me pull up my pants because that's disgusting. <sighs> also, I'm afraid to bleed a lot because, I don't know, I think I bleed a lot. When I, like, paper cut my leg, I'm like... <laughs> it's gross. But, overall, it's, like, a month away, so... I think right now I'm just so fucking nervous. I'm just so nervous that I'm not even excited. I don't know. I think once it gets like close, close, then I think I'll get excited. But right now I'm just so nervous. All I keep thinking about is all of these nerves and everything that I'm just nervous. I'm just, nah. I can't think about how excited I am because it's just being covered up by my nerves. All I'm watching is, like, YouTube videos of, re like, reveals and everything, but I know that I'm not going to be, like, so excited for my reveal because it's literally going to look like I got hit by a bus. Because your chest is going to be, like, covered in bruises and, like, it's going to be so swollen and gr gooey and gross. But at least it'll be flat. And I won't have to bind forever and it won't be disgusting like it is right now. Like, I hate my chest because it's not supposed to be there. So, that's where I'm at right now. I am one month away, officially, from top surgery. I didn't ever think I would get like this. I didn't ever think this would happen. But I paid it off by myself and nobody helped me, and that's crazy that I did this. I just hope it turns out, and I look okay. Okay, that's it now. How do I turn this off?